Goshen. You broke the family oath. Tarnished the pure magic power. I'm here on behalf of the Elder Council to bring you to justice. <laughs> oh fools, save your stubborn and cowardly words. Power, family, oath. It's all bullshit. I'll prove it in my own way. For ten years, the rage in my heart has never gone out. I will never forget the hatred of the Smith. <laughs> Give you a chance to release the depression. <laughs> oh, revenge! The Imperial Knights will be destroyed by my hammer! first stage of the Land of Dawn, the world was plagued by chaos. Cataclysmic conflicts between light and dark swept through the lands as the fight for power became the sole purpose of existence. However, this was not the intention of the world's creator. In this era of violence and bloodshed, hope and happiness were but mere dreams for the common people. Though, miracles still happened. A newborn girl was chosen to be blessed with the powers of both light and dark. Growing up in a world where one must choose sides, Lunox knew deep within her that the imbalance between light and dark was destined to destroy everything she loved. Her family, her home, everything. Every day, Lunox wandered between the lines of hope and despair. When Lunox discovered her true identity and purpose for existence, she was never quite the same again. To bring peace to the Land of Dawn, she had to maintain the balance between all the light and darkness within the world. Even if it meant sacrificing herself, this was her duty. The creative world sealed Lunox away in the Twilight Orb. For countless centuries, she laid dormant, quietly absorbing the ever-growing powers of light and dark. Lunox knew the imbalance between order and chaos would last forever, and so would her duty. We have traveled countless dimensions to arrive in this new world. We kill. And we conquer. We Exterminate all life. No one is safe. You are next. There were two holy angels in the land of dawn. Raphael was to cure wounds, while Argus slain the evilness. But he lost himself, and fell under the temptation of power. An ancient voice is calling out to me! Let me inherit the power of the sword! Nothing is worthy without power! Become one with the sword! Immortality or death! The Shadow Abyss, a hideous scar carved into the Land of Dawn. Innumerable demons lurk within its depths. 
plotting to devour the light and plunge the world into darkness. <laughs> Selina, these maggots seem to have a problem with you. <laughs> How about we play a little game with these imbeciles? Tedious busy. Don't you think you're a little too serious sometimes? You poor, wretched creature. When you gaze into the abyss. The abyss gazes back! from the Mordian Empire will never find us! <laughs> <laughs> Overjoyed. The royal blood would be passed down on the day of the prince's first birthday. Mysterious and evil forces came to his bed. The prince disappeared that night. The Imperial Knights traveled all over the land of dawn, but found nothing. The king and queen were heartbroken. Sorrow engulfed the whole Manian Empire. In addition to mortality, you inherited my power. <laughs> the blood of the Empire is at my service. Dawn plan is almost done. Explosion! Chaos! Burning! That's what this place should be! <laughs> the city of technology. The meaning of change in life. It was all I cherished and fought for. However, when I realized that the world was a dark and horrible joke, I finally understood how cheap life was! <laughs> Burn them! Destroy the Eridicia! Hanabi? I have seen the fear in your heart. As the scarlet shadow really collapsed. Let's finish it now! Ha 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 ha! 
with a blissful taste of fresh blood. Amino Haraki has been unsealed. Prepare to be devoured.